everybody, this is me and Atfo and uh, we want to show the, I know it's taken some weeks to show this, <laughs> but we wanted to show the, the next uh, challenges we, uh, we made for, for the SciGuy uh, World Forums competition, summer competition. Mm -hmm. And this time, because we took so, uh, so many weeks to make this video, <laughs> we wanted to show two different challenges. So I think it was challenge number two mm. and challenge number three. Correct. Okay. So yeah, uh, this is going to be a video of two challenges. One is a little bigger than the other. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, uh, something you want to add that for? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, n n not really. I mean, yeah, that's correct. We we um, decided to go with challenge two and challenge three in one video uh, because it took us so long, and um, we think that the third challenge wouldn't be enough to show in one video. So yeah. So okay, uh, our second challenge was making the boomerang. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are seeing right now. We only had the boomerang and I'm going to show here how it looked before mm. and uh, What they wanted us to do was uh, Retheming it the station like making a new station making some shadow areas for the queue mm. and stuff like that exactly uh, and we went uh, maybe too much <laughs> for this, <laughs> this challenge but Actually, the good news is that we won uh, this one. Yeah. And I think we are really proud of this. We, we, we actually worked until really late night. Mm, yeah. I think. Not as bad as the next ones, <laughs> but, but sure. yeah, uh, we, have, we were working during the week. I think this was the week when I was at Efteling. Yeah. And Adfo was uh, making the station before me. Yeah. So, do you want to talk a little bit about the station and about the, the idea we had here? Mm, yeah, sure. Um, well, as we explained in the first video, we... Wait, did I cut it out? I'm unsure right now. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm hearing you, I'm hearing you. No, I, 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 I mean, did I cut the, the thing out of the first episode where we told the people what our greater plans for the park were? Ah, yeah, yeah, I think, I think, I think you got it out. Huh. Like we don't, we, they don't know the areas we were planning. Yeah, but okay. Now because, <laughs> yeah, we can, we can talk about them. Okay, I think. so yeah, um, don't worry. Basically, our idea was at least for the uh, second challenge to go with another American iconic episode, time episode. Um, which is more like the 1980s uh, in mm -hmm. Miami. Mm -hmm. So with a lot of neon colors, art decor style, a little bit of Miami Vice feeling. And um, yeah, we, we thought that would fit the boomerang coaster quite well. So I started to build um, a little bit of the station um, with some facades. My idea was to not build only one building because I think that would have looked way too massive for yeah. the, the whole station. So I went with um, a couple of facades there and all in uh, eight 1980s Miami Vice style and um, yeah, a lot of um, white-ish colors for the main parts of the walls and very colorful accents and a lot of neon, as I said before. So that was basically my idea. Yeah, and, I, and when I get he got here from the trip, mm. I thought, okay, this, this is really, really nice what, <laughs> what you, you were doing. It was like super, super cool. Uh, we actually had to build a lot during the last few days, I think. Mm, yeah. The queue was... Ah, ah, if I remember correctly, you also made the, the amazing uh, lockers. Yeah, in the entrance exactly. Yeah. That yeah. are really, really, really cool. And I want to show here, if I can, how I uh, how Adfo made them. Mm -hmm. Because they're really cool looking. They, they look really realistic. 
and um, and if I can show you here, yeah, like if I open this, you can see what items he used, and they're really unconventional, mm -hmm. like the red things and the green stuff. So you can see if the locker is on and off. It's it's there and and it's used with some art shapes. Mm, exactly. But then the display it's done with with some futuristic walls and stuff. It's I think it's it's pretty amazing. Mm, thank you. He also made it purple uh, because of the of the theme. And exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, my idea was to to build some. Well, basically the idea was um, to build the entrance and the lockers f in some sort of like. Uh, some some beach lockers where you mm -hmm. could put in your your wallet or anything while you're um, while you're swimming or so. Yeah, and maybe maybe your your normal clothes. Yeah, or this one exactly. Uh, so that was basically my idea. So so keep up the the theming in this one and yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, the entrance. What they did after that. Mm was adding this huge dude, <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. cool guy called Steve, cool Steve. Yeah, cool Steve. Because of the of a little bit of the story we we invented yeah. for the park, like the 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 guy that owned the park wanted to to be placed in the right or something. Mm. I don't think he looks too much like him, probably. <laughs> I have no idea. But, uh, <laughs> we have no idea. We don't have. We have no idea how he looks. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> not a friend uh, with Steve on Facebook, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he sent so he sent us uh, work, but we don't know how he looks. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I I made with the art shapes because um, I'm really comfortable with working with the art mm. shapes usually, and I've showed this so this with some of my older episodes of all other parks I've made, mm. and also in the first episode where I made the angels. Yeah. I think it's much easier working with color art shapes because you can differentiate the, the body parts mm. of the character. So it was much easier working with this logo, for example, mm. than for the angel. Like you will think that because it was a lot more detail or things, it's more difficult. But actually, no. Mm. It's easier to make it look better with colors. Mm. Statues are really, really difficult to to make it look like something. Like oh yeah, that's that's a real human in st in, just in stone. Yeah. But yeah, and uh, and also made the the font of the Miami Wave. The font was not made with textures uh, that we can use now in the game, yeah. but with art shapes also. I don't know how many art shapes. It's. Oh, six hundred sixty-four art shapes. Just, <laughs> just, six hundred. <Just> <laughs> yeah, six, pro probably six hundred sixty-four. Three because of the stick we use to move the things, <laughs> okay. the wooden stick we usually hide. But yeah, that's that's what what I did. And I, I actually went to to some font programs to look for the perfect font mm. for the Miami Vive. And I study a little bit because I really like like in real life I make logos mm. uh, if they hire me, of course. <laughs> But yeah, for the people that has have hired me, uh, I made logos for them. So I'm like, I really like making this stuff. And this is just modeling in 3D, basically yeah. uh, a, a logo. And then I, I work a little bit with a queue that I've already made. But I just added some foliage and mm. and for example the the, the, the shadow black. I don't. I, they're called shadow black. I have no idea, but honestly, that's not really true because uh, you completely re redid the whole queue area <laughs> yeah but, but the fences are yours. yeah okay but still i mean <laughs> you did a lot of work <laughs> yeah I, I made also this this building yeah uh this small shack like uh like a beach set mm. we also uh, i think i wanted to make a little bit of realism i wanted to add a, re a little bit of realism to the queue so I made the, the, the part where the queue cuts mm. to the extended area. So, for example, if in the hot summer days when there's a lot of queue in the theme park, for example, yeah. uh, you have to pass through the, the shadow building, mm. the, the, the big sack. But if there's small, like little queue on winter days and stuff like that, yeah. you can just cut through the ropes, yeah. basically. And I made also, no, no, no. You actually make the the parcels, yeah, mm -hmm. the beach parcels. Yeah. I just 
copy them like mad, a madman <laughs> <laughs> and started putting them all around the, the right to cover stuff. Yeah. Uh, then I decorated a little bit of the supports of the right. Yeah, exactly. It's a little bit of Miami feeling. Mm. The last thing I need to talk about this this part is that before tackling with the, 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 the logo and stuff like that, mm. I made the entrance to make it like more beautiful. Like the whole plaza of Miami yeah. was working with the right. Yeah. So I wasted a lot of time, <laughs> I have to say, <laughs> on these floors that are based on, on when you arrive to the airport of Miami. Yeah. There's some decorated floors like this using like color color waves. Mm. And I really wanted to, to do something similar to for our park. Mm. And I think a little bit of beach feeling with the with the Baywatch uh, Baywatch shack. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like them. Uh, this one also it's based on the real shacks of that they have in Miami mm. Beach that it's green with some flower stuff and the windsurf and I thought it it worked really well with the, the theming of our coast. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we used for the first time the textures. Mm, yeah, exactly. Uh, the, the the billboards the the game gave yeah. us. Uh, as you can see, I, I used it in the in the flags. The beach uh, has like two flags that say if you can if you can go into the water or it's dangerous. Mm. And uh, also some some security stuff for the yeah. like the beach with water close to public and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. you things things that you can find in Miami Beach. Mm. From what they see, uh, I think uh, I've also used it in the windows. Yeah, I l used a lot of them for the windows. At first, I used the bigger billboards, but uh, especially on the rounded um, corner building, I used the TVs. So yeah, yeah. I, I, if you see it at night, that I will I will now focus in with a nighttime shot. Mm. Uh, you can see like the windows uh, because we use TVs. Uh, what they do is. Uh, light up at night and they look really cool exactly yeah. because they give the, the buildings I also uh, like the last thing I made before uh, sending the challenge mm. was making the, the whole lighting like uh, the whole lights of the of the right mm. these purple green lights that uh, the Miami buildings usually have yeah so uh, maybe I sort of introduced the next challenge which was yeah, of course. Uh, challenge three um, was to change the shop. Um, I think it was a gift shop. At yeah, I'm, I'm going to show the shop right now because mm. the shop, the, the real shop was just a, a, a shoe box, like we like to say. Yeah, sort of. Uh, there was, yeah, <laughs> four walls. We could do anything with the, with the shop. Exactly. Uh, and sizes and stuff. Mm. Yeah, and it was a little bit confusing, uh, to be honest, for us, because um, yes, that's, that's we, at least we understand the, or uh, understood the challenge more like, okay, just change the shop itself. Yeah, the, the building, the like, there's one building, so you need to change that one building. Exactly, so... You do, we don't mind how big it is. Yeah but it only has to be one building. That's what we thought uh, the channel was. Exactly, so it might look a little bit too big and too massive, yep. but as soon as it is like uh, embanked into a street, uh, we think it won't look that messy uh, and that massive anymore. But anyway, um, I, I think it's better that you explain what the building is because <laughs> you basically <laughs> built the building okay so let me take it from here mm -hmm. then and what we wanted to do here uh, was a los angeles area uh, basically we we are planning in the future mm -hmm. to add different buildings of, of los angeles yeah uh, a really bit of 1930s yeah. era type of of art deco but from los angeles uh, it has a lot of Spanish type of architecture also, mm -hmm. a little bit like Buena Vista uh, Street in Disney California Adventure. Yeah. Uh, we, we watched some of some references from some of the theme park streets you can find that Disney built and Universal built, yeah. like trying to emulate a little bit of Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's, that's what we wanted to try. And what we decided is because this was an important shop in the park. Mm -hmm. Uh, was to build a, a big, uh, impressive building because it's like the, the huge entrance of the Los Angeles area. Yeah. 
and it's based on the Eastern uh, Columbia building mm -hmm. uh, from Los Angeles. So this building exists. Uh, it still exists also. Yeah. It has like a huge clock and some letters at the top that say Eastern things like that. Okay. That uh, we change in this in, in our version to say silver, mm -hmm. and basically well, uh, it's like a shop in the outside also. Mm -hmm. Uh, something that I didn't have time, sadly. Uh, we, I think this one was the first challenge we started to get really late with it. Yeah. Uh, we stayed until 6 a.m. It was really, really tough. Like yeah, true. <laughs> really tough. Uh, my, my idea was actually putting stuff in the billboards, mm. like clothes and uh, like in the end, you can see that the, these windows that it's only dark, uh, like dark TVs mm. because they also light in the night uh, but those were like I wanted to make some jokes or put some clothes uh, like or mocks and things like that you can buy at theme parks mm. uh, use a little bit of the of the two angels we have as mascots uh, Bell and Bill yeah a little bit in the store and things like that I sadly didn't have any time mm. like I remember being super <laughs> super tired yeah uh, but yeah, yeah the, 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 I actually think we, we made this in one day if I remember correctly. Sort of, yeah. We had the structure done days before, yeah. like the planning, but we just had to build it the last day because of real life stuff. Yeah, exactly. And I thought, I think we did a lot for only working one day. Yeah, definitely. Uh, um, I mean, it was hell <laughs> building, yeah, building it. Was it super uh, hell, yeah. but that's, that's true. But yeah, it, we basically, if I if we are correct, we build it in like 24 hours or so. so yes, yeah. 24 hours, no, nearly non-stop. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was <laughs> so I wanted to show you some of the of the detailing the walls have, mm. because I know Watford likes it a lot. Uh, yeah, it's going to show in, it. in my opinion, the most impressive stuff about the, the shop, you don't need to show the inside which I built, because it's very boring. No, no, yeah, but I, I, no. no. <laughs> We're going to show the inside. I, I, I really oh, like the inside. There, there was a lot of work, of work going to, into that also. So, uh, yeah, the detailing, the problem is in the screenshots we need to, sh to show. I don't think it. Mm. you can view it as good as, as I think it is. Like, you have a lot of details, as you can see. I'm showing it them now. Yeah. Uh, there's a, even if you think there's a lot of copy-paste, there isn't as much as you think. No. True. So, because the, the the windows change on size, mm. and I had to change always the size of of stuff. That's why why there was a lot of copy paste. Mm. Uh, I also used a lot of billboards uh, to some of the detailing, mm. uh, detailing. Sorry. And the top of the of the tower, that it's the last thing I made. I think that night. Yeah. Uh, I worked like super fast to m be possible, like the the top thing. The decoration is similar to the real, real building, mm -hmm. and I'm going to show it the night some night shots now. And as you can see, it actually illuminates like the real building. I wanted to make it as realistic as the, as the real mm -hmm. one, so the building actually looks exactly like this in, at night. Yeah. Uh, with the with a clock and the the silver. If you see like you can see the silver from from far. It's actually illuminated because it's a billboard mm. uh, at the back of some art shapes. So it's like made all, all that wall is made of everything of art shapes, mm. and the letters are only billboards uh, back. But yeah, uh, also I made this uh, this back part because we have to say that the the building is also so massive. Something that we couldn't explain because I didn't have time to write yeah. anything from the lore. Uh, it was. Uh, based in, in making it also offices buildings for people working mm -hmm. at the park. So the top part of the store will be all like usable offices. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like Steve wanted something to to keep their uh, his employees, the one of the marketing employees and, yeah. and, and his office and things like that. A little bit like, like the, the Walt Disney office, but bigger. Mm. Or uh, in Efteling, this is also an idea of Efteling because they have a, a, a show called uh, Raveline mm. 
that it has this beautiful huge uh, building background as a background like medieval buildings yeah. and those are old offices oh cool and it's amazing i didn't know that so i, I thought i explained that to you when we were building uh, this could be yeah uh, <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> maybe i didn't maybe i didn't yeah I, I uh, but remember. yeah that 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 was kind of the idea and now if you want we can we can spray a little bit uh, the, the inside you know. yeah it's uh, to be honest it's a, a little bit hard for me to explain what i did because i can't open planet coaster right now because i'm rendering a video um, <laughs> so i i, I kind of have to r remind myself what i did i um i know that i wanted to have a huge it's, it's themed like a huge entrance hall for the building and with a lot of marble textures uh, for the floor so I use the billboards for the floor and um, make it r really tall with with um, with pretty nice lights so so sort of art decor lights and uh, some little stands uh, fitting the theme and with a lot of billboards uh, to explain what what you're looking at basically or where to find the stuff you're looking for so like the shirts on the right side and um, also I made some um, yeah, custom yeah, custom shirts and stuff and yeah, custom shirts and I, I think they look really good because they they actually look like Thank you. shirts or dresses and you have like men, kids, women. Mm. You also have the the, the cops uh, part like some dreams also because I know you like beer. Yeah, art. yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm a huge beer fan. <laughs> Uh, and some books, like yeah. art books, I suppose, art books of the park, and, and exactly. there's probably some other yeah. stuff. Uh, I think we j we didn't really have time to add more, because if not, we would have had a little bit more of detailing inside, probably. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we sort of ran out of time anyways, and it was so early in the morning, basically, not even more late at night, but <laughs> really early in the morning yes, when yes. we sort of finished that so we decided okay let's let's keep it that way i mean yep. seriously <laughs> and actually one of the things that surprised me a lot it's that nearly everything is made out of billboards mm. like it's freaking huge the the the, the because I, i've been working with billboards on the on the future challenge i we will show you in the next episode mm. and it's really hard because you need to get out of the way well not I have my game uh, minimized uh, in a window mode yeah. every time, so I don't need to give. But getting like out of playing time, yeah. of building time, and, and actually having to work on textures yourself, exactly looking on the internet, then working them on Photoshop, that takes a lot of time. Yeah, that's 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 amazingly hard, and and, and your textures look amazing. Like the mm. floor one is super amazing yeah. and and i love the details of the walls it makes it look like a, a really hipster type of, yeah. of 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 shop like rich store maybe mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah definitely and i i totally agree that uh, a lot of people probably think so, okay they made it out of billboards that's easy and fast but no, it no, takes no. a lot of time really i mean uh to be honest i I thought I was smart and save a lot of time <laughs> doing it like this, but mm, guess not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that's that's true. I I had the same problem mm. with the, with the next challenge. Like the next episode, I'm going to to tell you how how hard it was for me yeah. to build some of the stuff. Uh, and uh, and yeah, the basically that's it for the the this challenge. Exactly. Um, we have to say we we actually didn't get really good results. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, for this one, like the the jury didn't like the idea too much because they think it, they thought it was too massive. Mm. Uh, loser, you're a loser. Are you feeling sorry for yourself? That was my fault. Maybe I didn't write anything to explain why the building was like this. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's, it's speculation. That's, why? That, yeah, that's what it. Yeah. No. But no. But actually. Uh, I think uh, Masked Bandit is one of the juries. Yeah, exactly. And he explained us that it was too big uh, for the place and stuff like that. Yeah. And yeah, it's. So it's thank you, Masked. Thanks, bro. 
yeah. I keep that in mind. <laughs> no, kidding. I mean, uh, seriously, it's 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 a thing of taste. So basically, we liked it. Uh, we hope y you guys watching like it. Uh, if not, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, don't well, like you, it. <laughs> you can tell it. You can you can say it in the opinion in the in the, yeah. in the opinions. Actually, I I. I I would love to, to hear some opinions of, of you guys in, in the yeah exactly in, jo in YouTube because that's that's actually something that helps us a lot mm. and and it's even better than giving just a like or or just uh, subscribing even yeah I, I really like the interaction with people uh, because yeah. you learn stuff uh, about what they like what they don't uh, uh, exactly you learn a lot from 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 the pins and actually when when they give us the points they there were no opinions why they w it was that like that mm. and actually having masked bandit going and saying hey guys uh this was because of this 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 yeah it helped us a lot of to uh, for us to understanding why why this happened yeah definitely i mean feedback so is always so good yeah so i actually have to thank a lot uh, masked bandit for for his feedback yeah. it was uh really helpful hey, and yes that's i think that's the episode for today yep. that's it so uh as always we don't know how to finish this this <laughs> stuff so i will say you all goodbye have a great week exactly and and as for if you want to to say a goodbye uh yeah <laughs> goodbye and um see you next time see you next time guys bye <laughs>